Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 65. In this episode I'm going to share with you 25 new changes in 12 different Google Apps. So let's find out what's new. Let's start with Gcam version 8.8 .8 on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro models. The most exciting change is the availability of the faster night sight. Now the toggle will show you the time needed for the feature to take the shot and when you tap on this button it will give you the option to choose between max or default. The default is about 50% less than the maximum time and that will decrease motion blurness if you are holding the phone by hand. But if you have a tripod definitely it's a good opportunity to use the maximum time but the default time will still give you great night sight photos without motion blurness. Version 8.8 .8 also got some tweaks for the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro only and the first one is in the zoom slider. As you see it's no longer using the floating bubble on top of the slider but now it will show you a text only and as you see the uh, different lenses are now highlighted with a different text color instead of using dots like before and we still have the same haptic feedback like we used to in 8.7 but now it looks different and that's the only change. Change number three is the motion photos are no longer in beta. So when you tap on the question mark, you will no longer see the beta tag next to the feature name like we used to have in 8.7. Change number four is under the video tab. And now when I go to the active mode, I see the option to activate HDR 10 bit videos. I'm not sure if this is something we already have in 8.7 or it's new to 8.8. So please let me know in the comments. Now let me show you a couple of visual tweaks in version 8.8 .8, and the first one is in the locked folder overlay. It's now almost centered instead of being shifted towards the right like in 8.7. And finally Google swapped the positions between the top shot and the macro focus in the settings overlay. Now let's talk about YouTube. And it got some visual tweaks. The first one is the different background color for the chapters section based on the color of the video thumbnail. So for example, this one has a pink background color, but this one has a green because the thumbnail is mainly green in this video and you will find the same thing over and over again. So we started to get some material U vibes with YouTube. Change number two, when you start a playlist, you will see the queue is now a floating card at the bottom of the screen and the color of the floating card also matches the video thumbnail. So for example, when you tap on it, it will expand the queue. As you see, when I switch to another video, the shading color is now different. And when I minimize, it will match the current video color. So that happens with each and every video as you see here. Now it's pink and so on and so forth. Change number three is the redesigned library page. On the left I have the old design and on the right I have the new one. You will notice here that the playlist section looks totally different. Now it has horizontal scrolling instead of vertical and the new playlist button looks totally different. Also all other options are now shifted towards the bottom. On top of this, I'm getting here a notification from YouTube Music that my winter recap is here. So Google has started to show notifications from YouTube Music in the normal YouTube app and you can tap on it. And in this case, it will show you the recap inside the normal YouTube app instead of taking you to YouTube Music. So there is a kind of a new link between the two. Moving to YouTube Music and to get your winter recap, you can tap on the profile picture, then your recap and you will find it right here. The first option is called watch now, which will show you a story revealing the statistics about your music. For example, you will get the top uh, winter artists, top winter tracks. Then you have some uh, specific tracks will be featured, then the top genres and a quick summary for everything. And regardless which photo you see, you can share it from here or download it and save it to your gallery. Then you can connect Google Photos to the winter recap and it will start linking the photos you took during this period with the tracks you listened to and you can still share or download these images. Then you have the recap playlist which includes 
the songs you listened to and also any other YouTube music playlist you played during this period. Change number two is under the home feed. When you scroll all the way down, you will see a new section here called the covers and remixes, which will include the covers and remixes for some of the songs you already played in YouTube music. And that will give you a new way to explore different varieties of your songs. And the last change is under the YouTube music settings. When you go to downloads and storage, now you have the option to activate the recently played songs, which means it will automatically download the recently played songs and you can also give it a threshold over here. And this is different from the smart downloads. Smart downloads usually download the tracks that you like or add to your playlists, but recently played doesn't take this in consideration and it will download all the recently played songs to your phone storage. And if you want to access the downloaded songs, you can simply tap and hold on the app icon, then tap on downloads and it will play your downloaded tracks right away. Next, we have Google Messages. And the first change is a new toggle under settings called Send Photos Faster, which will simply activate the image compression and save you some data when you send photos. This is something third-party apps like WhatsApp and Messenger do by default, but now we have the flexibility to choose if we want the image compression to be on or off. And the last change in Google Messages, when you open any conversation, now you will see the profile picture showing at the top left corner. Next, Google Meet. And the most exciting change is the addition of the new 360 backgrounds. When you tap on the effects button, you will see a new section over here that includes four new 360 backgrounds with the 360 arrow at the top right corner. When you tap on any of them, it will show you like a billionaire doing your work meetings from this amazing spot while the reality is you finish your salary after 24 hours and stay broke till the end of the month so i do really like this feature also there are two new backgrounds here for the mother's day i think this is the first one here is the second and another two for ramadan this is the crescent face and another one is a static background next google contacts and it got a new widget called individual contact that will allow you to take quick actions from your home screen. I already have it on my home screen and when I make it bigger, it will match the preview we just saw. This button will allow you to make a call to the contact. This one will allow you to send the message. And when you tap in the middle, it will take you to the information page of this contact inside Google Contacts. It will also show you more than one style. This is the first one. Here's the second, the third, and finally, when you make it small, it will just give you a circle that when you tap on, it will take you to the Google Contacts page. Next, Google Chrome. And all of a sudden, I received this pop-up on the screen after opening the app telling me that Chrome notifications make things easier. You will be able to easily manage media controls, incognito sessions, downloads, and more. So I kept checking what's new in this feature. And when you play songs now from an, a website like YouTube Music, you will get the media controls right now in the quick settings area. And also when you start downloading any files, you will have the ability to manage the download from your notifications shade. So I will try to download this file. And you will see here at the top, I have the ability to pause or cancel the download if I want and so on and so forth. Next, Google search. And I started to notice a new behavior every time I search for photos, which is a new grid of four that shows me some of the results I should see under the images page without the need to go to it. And when you keep scrolling, you will find this grid of four showing everywhere. And sometimes it's bigger. Sometimes it can be up to a grid of eight, like in this case. And when you tap on any of the photos, it simply takes you to the normal images page of Google search, no difference here. But you can also tap on the website name and it will take you right away to the website. Now let me show you some changes related to Wear OS and the first one is in Keep Notes. So if you have a background or a solid color set for your notes, you will see this on your smartwatch when you open the note, like in this case. And this is how it looks if you have a solid background color. Change number two is the Google Assistant complication now matches the color of your watch face instead of using the normal Google colors like before. Next, Google One VPN is now available for all price plans. So if you have the $1.99 a month, you can still use the Google One VPN like in my case here. 
And finally, I will end this video by talking about a new feature Google added to Pixel phones, which is the ability to pause the adaptive charging feature only once. Every time you plug the phone to the charger, you should see this notification telling you when your phone should be fully charged based on the adaptive charging feature. And if you want to stop it only once, you can do this by tapping on the button, which is a really nice addition. In some exception cases, you might need to stop the feature and get it back on without the need to go to settings and manually toggle the feature on or off yourself. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I wanted to share with you. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new features so I can include in my future episodes. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.